Okay, in this video we're going to talk about finding derivatives of logs in other bases. Um, and there's a couple things you need to know before you can do this. Um, so the first thing that you need to know is you need to know the change of base formula, which is that the log of A in base B is equal to the natural log of A over the natural log of B. That's, the, that's actually the most important thing, and actually if you know that you can just kind of find the derivatives now and you can stop watching the video. Um, but if you want to keep watching and see some examples, uh, go ahead. So the second thing that I think you need to know is that the derivative of the natural log of x is equal to 1 over x, um, and then the domain of that is, is x is greater than 0. You tend not to really write the domain when you take these derivatives, um, but that's actually the derivative. Um, and then a third thing that you need to know, which some people kind of lose sight of, is that the natural log of b is, um, is a number, as long as b is not a function. Um, and that's important because we're not going to end up using the quotient rule when we find the derivative. We're actually going to use the constant multiple rule, um, which can save you a lot of time and effort. Okay, so those are the three things that we need to know. And now I'm going to do a couple of examples. So the first one is uh, we're going to find the derivative of y equals the log of x squared plus 1 in base 3. So what I'm going to do is um, use a change of base formula right away. So that's pretty much what you always do with these. So I like to write it out. Um, if you really know what you're doing, you can kind of skip that. Um, so y is equal to natural log of x squared plus 1 over the natural log of 3. And uh, now I'm just going to take the derivative. I'm not using the quotient rule because the natural log of 3 is a number, so it's actually a constant multiple rather than um, a quotient. So um, dy dx is going to be. Um, so the 1 over the natural log of 3 is constant multiple. And now the derivative of the natural log of x squared plus 1 is 1 over x squared plus 1 times the derivative of x squared plus 1, because the chain rule is always going to be involved in these problems. Um, and then I'm going to simplify that a little bit, because that's a weird way to leave it. Uh, unless it's the only thing in the denominator, I tend to leave the constant multiple out as I simplify these, so I would write it that way instead of having 2x over, you know, the whole, like, natural log of 3 times the quantity x squared plus 1. I just think it looks cleaner that way, but it doesn't really matter. But that's how I'll write that one. Let's do one more example, which actually will have another thing that we need to think about. So here we just have y equals the log of cosine of x cubed. Um, and so something that you want to remember is that if there's no base shown, um, then the base is actually 10. So no base shown means base 10 is what we're using. So when we rewrite this, we're going to rewrite it as um, the natural log of cosine of x cubed and then over the natural log of 10. So if you don't remember that, uh, you kind of won't have any idea what to do here. Uh, so we have this, and now what I'm going to do is take the derivative, so dy dx is 1 over the natural log of 10 is just a constant multiple, so I pull that out, and then I need the derivative of natural log of cosine of x cubed, so that's going to be 1 over the cosine of x cubed times the derivative of cosine of x cubed, and then, well, so it's 1 over cosine of something times the derivative of cosine of something is negative sine of that thing times the derivative of that thing, and that thing is x cubed, so I'm going to multiply by 3x squared. So I just used the chain rule on that, but I had to like use the chain rule twice. And uh, now there, we can clean this up kind of a lot, actually, because if you remember sine of u over cosine of u is equal to the tangent of u, so this will look a lot simpler when we're done. Um, and since there's two things in the denominator, I'm going to write it as you'll see. So I'm going to have uh, negative 3x squared and then tan of x cubed because of the sine of x cubed over the cosine of x cubed. And then uh, there, yeah. So it's the only thing. So I think I said there were two things in the denominator. There aren't two things. There's actually only one thing in the denominator. Um, and so that's when I write it over the natural log of whatever the number is. Anyway, um, I hope you found this helpful and good luck.